This is the hardest defense to play against in Madden 24. What? It shuts down the run. Gets instant sacks. <laughs> and interceptions all game. So if you want to see a brand new defense I'm using get results like this? Stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my custom offensive and custom defensive ebooks. But if you guys use team playbooks, they can also be found in my New Orleans Saints offense and Las Vegas Raiders defensive ebooks as well. If you guys want more help or more money plays, you can instantly download these or any of my ebooks simply by clicking links in the description or the top pinned comment. Today I'll be showing you guys week one gameplay for my brand new 32 team subscriber CFM. Only this league started after free agency, so we will have updated rosters, which means Saquon Barkley is on the Eagles. We're also starting in year two of the offseason, so I will have several other roster changes. For one, my entire offensive line was depleted by the offseason retirement schedule, as both Jason Kelsey retired in real life and Lane Johnson retired in the game. So I had to draft a lot of linemen to replace them all, but I got lucky enough to draft two superstars that I will have to build up over time. And I'll be facing off against one of the most talented teams in the game as well in the division rival Dallas Cowboys. But before I do, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comments section. I started this game out on defense and the formation that I'll be using once again today is my 3-3 odd scheme, which is pretty much the only defensive formation that I've used for the last several months. But I'll be showing you guys a new blitz to add to this scheme that might be the best defense in the entire formation for run or pass. But on the first two plays, I choose a random cover three since I'm still setting up my defense and coaching adjustments since cover three is probably the best zone coverage in the game. Gotcha, bitch. And we get an interception on just the second play. On offense, I'm going to be using my gun stack wide flex scheme once again, but I'm mostly going to be focusing on defense in this video. So if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense, I'll have links to that video in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. I wanted to play with my new toy Saquon the most, so I tried to hit him on a screen multiple times in this game and it rarely works out against his defense. So I switched to the drive age wheel route and I almost score and I probably would have if I didn't put this extra spin on it at the end before I walk it in up the middle to take the lead. On defense, the most important coaching adjustment is to set your auto alignment to base as I'll be using a lot of different zone coverages today and I don't want my opponent to be able to read them before the play starts. And for my substitutions, the most important thing is to have a fast cornerback in the slot as he'll be going after the quarterback a lot later in the game. I start the next drive in cover four though since I know my opponent likes to run but this defense gets no pressure. I almost get a coverage sack on the next play before I switch to the cover three cloud A gap blitz that is one of the best blitzes in Madden right now but I don't like to overuse it since the setup is obvious and lets your opponent know the blitz is coming every time. As you can do things like slide protect to pick it up as it shuts down the inside zone the next play. I run again on the next play and he beats it for the first over the middle before I decide to use the defense that today's video is about in the overload three press, which has the lowest yards per play out of any play in this entire scheme at about five yards per play allowed. So I figured it's time to share this defense. The reason I like this play is because it's mostly blitzing from the outside where the other blitz that I've shown you in the past is a blitz right up the middle. So it's a perfect complement to the cover three cloud blitz. The setup of this blitz is super simple as well as you want to just bring this blitzing cornerback into the box so that he can both hold the edge down against the run but also get pressure on the quarterback much faster. If you know your opponent is going to pass, you can guess pass as well and he will bypass things like play action fakes and go right after the quarterback instead. After that, I just want to play underneath a lot to turn these curl flats into hard flats to protect underneath outside the cornerbacks, as that is one of the biggest weaknesses to this coverage. I will also bring the safeties down on just about every play to bring them closer to the receivers for quicker coverage. And last but not least, I will want to use the three rack hook and bring them down over the guard gap before dropping back into coverage in hopes of pulling the lineman's attention. And the pressure can come from several areas, including the cornerback, the blitzing linebacker, and even the defensive end, which I will show you later in the video. As he gets it out quickly, but my linebacker is all over it, giving up no gain. I should have stayed in it though, as I switch back to the cover three cloud and he attacks the cover two side for a big play, which is probably the biggest weakness of this coverage, before getting a huge counter run to tie the game at seven all. Damn it! 
On offense, it's still the Saquon show, as I just can't wait to watch this guy in real life before I swing it out to the flats once again, and his agility is so sticky, it's going to be a fun year. I try another screen pass before getting another big run up the middle to get into field goal range, and finally complete a screen pass for another big first down. <laughs> finally! But that's where the drive ends, as I end up settling for a field goal and the lead. On defense, I'm still mixing out my coverages as I start using cover one more, but for some reason I can't man align to the receivers that he is motioning across the formation, so I go back to zone coverages on the next play, as we get a stop and force the punt. But I don't capitalize as he locks me up on the next play for a coverage sack, but I saw the running back wide open as the play ended, so I hurry up and try that again, but it looks like he saw that as well, as he's all over it this time, and I basically get sacked again, before Mika Parsons sacks me on the two-yard line and I have to punt away. And I'm still using the cover three cloud blitz at this point, as he works his way down the field to tie the game with his own field goal with only one second left. But I never waste a possession, as I have a one-play touchdown versus every defense in the game in this formation. I just have to guess which one he is in, since he has spent most of the game in base just like me. But he's been in cover nine most of the game so I set up my new cover through one play touchdown that I just put out from the fade shot as this slant can get open against this defense as well as the post routes completely clear out the side and this is why I use honorary linemen on both of my receivers as AJ Brown gets a dominant wind block almost 50 yards away from the play allowing me to get the easiest walk-in touchdown you will ever see. I also get ball in the second half, but after a few sacks surrendered by the rookie right side of this offensive line, I have to punt away and rely on my defense. He comes down to three tight end sets, so I match with cover four and give up nothing. And since he is under center, I go back to the overload three press blitz, as this is a really solid run defense as well. But when your opponent is in a tight personnel package like this, the cornerback will usually start to play in the perfect position, saving you one step in the setup. And I don't even get to bring the safeties down before he hikes the ball, and I get an instant unblocked sack. I switch back to the cover three class a gap on the next play Got he. as he tries to throw it up and moss me on the next play and we get another user pick from here we decide to run the ball as this wide alignment is getting way too much pressure with the speed of these edge players against my young lineman before i go back to the fade out one more time expecting cover six but instead finding cover three as i watch the safety drop down and it creates a huge throwing lane for another big catcher on one play touchdown that's just too easy I figure he has to start passing at this point, so I stay in the overload three press on the next series. Woo! And you can see how constantly disruptive this blitzing cornerback can be. And we are almost in the fourth quarter, but Dak only has 68 yards passing at this point. I switch to cover one man on the next play though, and my rookie superstar safety gets completely pooped on in coverage by the running back. So I go back to the defense that has been working the best today in the overload three press. I often like to spread the defensive line in this look, as it really helps to get the cornerback in off the edge. But he runs it this time, and the safeties still fill the lanes since I have them in hard flats, as he gets nothing. Cover three is vulnerable outside underneath the dropping cornerbacks though as he switches to the buck sweep to go around the blitz for the first time so i have to watch for that formation as he continues to try and pound the rock clearly having given up on trying to pass at all at this point and forcing me to switch back to my best run defense in the cover for drop which i stay in for the rest of the drive eventually giving up a touchdown on fourth and inches to make it a ball game with just over three minutes to go so i'm either gonna have to kill clock or score and i decide to try to do both let him cook let him cook now. Let him cook. I said, let him cook. Come on. And Saquon Barkley puts the entire team on his back. And back to the overload three press on defense, as he is still trying to run the ball down two scores, before I get stuck on a defensive lineman on the next play and accidentally move him in a spot towards the guard, resulting in the defensive end getting in completely unblocked on the other side, which is something I'm going to have to lab more for a future video, as this play still has a lot of glitches that I haven't discovered yet. I stay in it on third and 20, only I hard flat before playing over the top to turn into a cloud flat, and we are going to put a stamp on this game by ending it with a pick six from CJGJ. <laughs> Welcome back to the nest. As we start the new season 1-0 with a big division win, and if you guys want to see more from the offenses or defenses I was using in today's game, I will have links to them popping up on screen. So until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.